Hi, it's Catch Red Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the page. So today we're gonna talk about Cat Williams talking about Steve Harvey. So let's get it, man. Catch Red. We'll be back. All right, yeah, man. We back. So we're gonna get right into this, and then we're gonna talk about it afterwards. So let's go. Who raised you? Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I yeah, can't I understand it neither. To go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he and then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. I don't know, I don't know, Kat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got I'm not fueled by alcohol. I've had a sip less than you. Truth don't need motivation. Oh man, this is going You go crazy. first, man. I know you got a lot to say. I'm 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 I'm, I'm gathering my thoughts right now. Steve Harvey always watched... been a, Steve Harvey always been a, a a clown. He's always been a clown. I don't I don't I don't see why people are so surprised. He's always been a a goof a goofball. Some of the stuff he say uh, I believe he's been divorced twice and they always trying to tell men how to run their lives and stuff like that. He's always been a goofball. Always, I never liked Steve Harvey. You know, I don't know him personally, but just off of him, just the way he moves. I mean, he's the way he moves uh, on on uh, television and all that good stuff. I just don't like how he carried himself. He's a goofball, and he just looked like he plagiarized people. You know what I'm saying? He just looked like it. So I agree with Cat Williams, man. I'm gonna side with him on that because it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? He always, he always, and he's a pervert. He's a pervert. I don't know if you guys watch, uh, I don't know if you watch um, Family Feud. Every, like, every question is always about sex. 90% of the questions is about some type of sexual encounter. How many, how many holes do a woman have? Like, just stupid questions like that. Like, come on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? What? What else goes inside your mouth instead of a spoon and a fork? You know what I'm saying? It's just stupid, <laughs> stupid stuff like that. The stupid stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a clown. It's a clown. Put, when you do the thumbnail, put a put a clown clown makeup on that dude. Put a red nose on him. A clown. Oh, stupid clown! Oh my God, man! Man, listen, um, cat. Look, I'm gonna be honest. You know, from my perspective, you know, um, the way they was painting Cat Williams for so many years, they um, they made Cat Williams look like he was a sick individual that uh that had no business in the comedy industry and that he was like on his way out. You know what I mean? You know what I mean when I say on his way out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, like, um, this is his resurgence. This is his, his revenge, basically. This is his revenge. Like he's basically doing a tell all tour right now. You know what I mean? Anybody that got in his way, that did him dirty, 
best to believe he's shooting his shot right now. He's going, he's shooting his shot, you know? Um, as far as the Steve Harvey thing, you know what I mean? I didn't, I wasn't familiar with all that, you know? Um, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't really pay attention, pay attention to Steve Harvey like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't pay attention to him like that. I mean, I've have watched his TV shows and everything like that, but to um, get in depth to everything, you know, that, you know, as a fan or whatever, I, I didn't really pay attention to him like that, but it really don't surprise me, you know, if if uh if cat if what cat's saying everything adds up as far as that it doesn't surprise me because um it just shows you that the comedian business is also a cutthroat business too <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you they see you as a threat they try to take you out simple as that you know so that don't surprise me you know but mm. hey all right, man. Look, man. Sketchpad Podcast. See y'all. Peace. Bye.